Hello, this is Power here to review the Ultraman Rube Shokugan Rube Crystal Set 2. Yep, I finally got this set. And we're almost done with Taiga. We just need the movie and the series will be done, and yet I'm still getting Rube Crystal. I apologize for this elongated look, but obviously I can't stack them as I open them. So. Um, so the Chokugan Rube Crystal Set 2, as you can see, I have 5 out of the 8 because, um, the 3 I don't have slash need were 0, Alien Bolton, and Jade Royal Mega Master, because I got, obviously uh, I got 0 through the Rube Slugger and got the other 2 from Gashpon Set 1. So he, these are the five exclusives that are in this set, which is the most out of all sets. So, first one here, we have Astra, the only Ultra within the series. So there's the lineup for this line. And obviously um, we have Rosso, Aqua, and Blue Flame, and it's in green. We have Gormora, King Joe, Dada B. There's actually that actually matters, and Dark Clops Zero. So let's get this um, set over with. So here are the five crystals out of this set. I apologize if I get something wrong. It's been a while since I've re reviewed root crystals. So, um, give me some slack uh, for inconsistency. Gosh. Okay, so again, here's our only ultra of this set, Astra, who is obviously the younger brother of Leo. And obviously he's very basic and such, which is fine. Um, his background's very basic, his kanji's very basic, as this is the third time I've seen this one. Um, his color is sky blue, I'll say. I'll just zoom out a bit, because I have to. One of my examples fell. So here's Leo, for comparison. Um, obviously, um, they're... They're very similar, because they actually both have the same background, but it's just Leo has like red explosions. And obviously different colors. Rosa, Rosso formation. Blue formation. All nation. And he is C026, so he actually has his own sound. And, um, unlike set 3, these ones actually have the pegs. I don't know why set 3 got rid of them. Probably for cost cutting, cutting measures. Cousin? Gosh. Here's Gormora. Obviously a very, um... I'm just going to say familiar kaiju. Um, I, cause I forgot the word. He's obviously red. Uh, I think for kaijus I do flip them all out. Because technically they're all one. Uh, C060. Or is that 80? Yeah, okay. C080. And then just to compare for laughs, um, here's Mecha Gormora. And what is he? C092. So, yeah. Here's another um, Showa Kaiju, King Joe. Ozzy is yo. He is C 
so technically he's the one before Mechic Armor in the pin system because um, each crystal holds two because of this and with that, so. Here is Dada B. So you might be wondering why I'm referring to him as such, and that's because this is actually the second version of Dada. The first version of Dada was included in Gashapon Set 2, along with Grudia. I obviously don't have that set, so I still can't cover Grudia, because I kind of don't want to cover him by himself. So, Dada A is a completely different design of Dada, and in my opinion, a more... Again, I don't remember the word, I'm just going to use familiar... <laughs> A look of Dada because he has red eyes and a different face a shape of face so I'm not too familiar with this one specifically but it's cool that they actually did two variants of it and uh, the clear white on a on the black is actually really neat I don't think actually there is one other kaiju that did this wasn't that um Magabasa <laughs> uh, that's his that's probably his orb name Gruibasa uh, C086 uh, I'm just going to say that obviously they both do the same sounds but I would still like both of them just so that I can actually review this set like yes I could have thrown this in here because they're both 02s but then this one would just been an outlier ah, I like Gruia <laughs> So, last but not least, we have Dark Clop Zero. Obviously, with the Zero and Jade running, this is somewhat relevant, but I don't know when I'm getting I'm releasing this. Obviously, he has red, and I there's no point of doing this, but here's a comparison with Zero. Uh, they have the same background, I believe so. They all have the same background, so I'm dumb. Uh, but, yeah. Dark Club Zero is just the um, C082. Dark Club Zero is just the cyborg the, um, troops that Belial made. But now, I technically have all the zero crystals, so that's neat. Let's get the root trial. <laughs> I don't know how this is aimed, framed in it, but okay. So because he's an ultra, we do have to flip these out. So that simple transformation sound or him is that he Astro doesn't technically transform because he doesn't have a host he's red and blue for his combination we're not going to do the second poles because there's no point of doing so Really nice, nice um, color scheme. Okay, so now with the kaijus, this is going to be easy. I figured out the word, it's iconic. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so dumb. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to come out 
uh, as yellow, but it's green. So. Dada. So white and purple bring a ni nice mix because it becomes somewhat blue. Last but not least, Dark Comp Zero. Ozzy generic sound. So, that's basically it for this. Um, when I actually get myself situated, we're going to have a discussion. <laughs> because this is technically the last um, Shogun Roof Crystal set I'm covering because I cover them out of order. Um, I, If I had to be honest, this is probably the best set out of three. Um, because this one you actually get a lot out of, or the first two sets you got a lot out of, because, uh, that one only contained, like, three of them were actually exclusives, but, uh, they were still pretty decent, but, again, if I had to rank it, it would be this one, one, and then three, because we, three is just really, like, the weakest, just because it only came with one new kaiju, and then, like, came with two new forms of, Zero and Gaia, but then they still technically activate the same sounds, and then King was included, which he doesn't do anything because he's not programmed in it. So, yeah, uh, but um, basically, the whole like outcome of the Shogun Online is if you actually want more kaiju's, then go for it. Um, if you want more ultras, go for the Gash Online. Because I think, honestly, going for the going for the candy toy line will probably be more cost cost efficient is the word no cost efficient towards you than trying to track down the gash pond ones because the gash pond root crystal is actually more difficult on trying to track down um and also because the majority of like. I'm saying majority, like, of the kaijus are in both lines. So, again, with this set, well, same with the ultras, too. But it's just, like, I would just say, go, if you're trying to, like, find extra root crystals, go get the candy toys, because those are easier of getting, besides set three. Which, honestly, you can skip out on set three. Just get, um, dark death sight. Zaton, Death Sight, Death Sight, Zaton, whatever his name is, just, just get him only. But I recommend the first two sets, um, because you actually get a lot out of them, and obviously with Leo, of what, what we're eventually should be covering soon, um, you can get more out of him. You can get more out of all of these of what, yeah. In the toy I'm supposed to be covering, but I refuse to do so because I'm waiting on quote unquote one more crystal that I can't find. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm just happy of like finally getting this set. Now I just need to track down the Gashapon sets, which is not going to be fun because those are extremely difficult. I'm surprised I was able to find this. <laughs> and I got it for 300 So this is Powered, and I'll leave you people. Bye.